here we are, Main Street of Charters Towers. I've got to say, this is a very, very impressive little town. The architecture, the buildings, all that kind of thing, absolutely magnificent. Now it is just a classic country town, you don't have your major shopping centres and that kind of thing. But again, I kind of think that's a good thing. A lot of miners around. That's their main income here, obviously, the five gold mines that are operating in the area. But this is it, essentially. You've got a couple of glorious old buildings here from the 1800s and 1900s, early 1900s. Classic City Hall, just there. Absolutely stunning. Old pub here on the corner. And a red rooster. Things are moving forward for Charters Towers when you've got a red rooster in town. And that's essentially it, guys. That's it. Beautiful town, friendly people, great food. Highly recommend it. Well, it's a good morning from Towers Hill here in Charters Towers. Towers Hill has been a gold mine. This has been a World War II bunker. This is the main walking track around Towers Hill. Let's go check out some ruins, eh? There's lots here to check out, that's for sure. Unfortunately, I'm a bit of a time restraint, so we'll see how we go. Towers Hill is full of these little rock wallabies, all different types of wallabies. Some were put here by rescue workers who have rescued some, and some are native to the area. They ended up digging a big well here because all these little wallabies kept coming down into the main town and drinking the water supply of the town, which wasn't really an issue. But they kept getting hit by cars and dogs were getting them and all that kind of thing so they actually built a little reservoir watering hole for them up here which has kept them up here which is great cute little guys these ones friendly too because they're so used to so many tourists very cool so this is essentially what's beneath us here on towers hill built into the mountain itself all that really remains are the chimney stacks down here, which we'll go check out now. And the rest is still pretty much in the mountain, but you can't get to it anymore. So Tower Hill here in Charters Towers is scattered with World War II bunkers. They stored ammunition and bombs and things here for the uh, AAF in Townsville. And on the other side of the hill there's a bit more of a story. So yeah, like I was saying guys, Towers Hill is full of these little rock wallabies. All different kinds, all different kinds of species. This guy here is just hanging out on a rock, doing his thing. G'day mate. You do have to look for them, they can be quite tricky to find. But, very cool. See you later, little guy. What you're looking at here, guys, is the base of the original tower, the chimney. Now, Towers Hill, basically, wasn't a mine itself. Basically, what they did was get the leftover gold that everyone was throwing away, and the bits of rubble and stuff, bring it up here, and using particular type of gas they would be able to extract even more gold from it. So the chimney here stood apparently 50 or 60 meters up which was a big one and uh, during World War II they had a Japanese Zero fly over here apparently which was enough for the local government to say right we need to pull down this chimney this is too big of a landmark for the uh, enemy aircraft to find out where the town is as such. So they blew it up. And there's bits of it still here. 
Now, obviously, underground is where a lot of the stuff happened here. And this is all you can sort of really see. There's a few more down this way. Bits of the building left. So yeah, during World War II, they decided to blow it up. Probably a good call, considering they already had one enemy plane fly over. It didn't attack, but uh, looked like it was on some sort of scouting run. So as you can see, Towers Hill today is mainly used as telecommunications, weather readings, weather forecasts, all that kind of thing. Telephone, television, repeaters, all that kind of stuff. Well here we are atop Towers Hill. Charters Towers Main Street just down there, you can see. Gold was first discovered around this area about the 1870s. Only about 400 metres above sea level. After finding gold here in 1870, they decided to open a mine just around here in 1872. They got quite a bit out of it and quickly discovered that the surrounding areas of Charters Towers was abundant in gold. So hence a little gold rush began here at Charters Towers. Charters Towers back in the day. Not much has really changed. Old baker shop down the bottom there, horse out the front. Now as you can see by reading that sign, it's still a pretty dangerous area around here on Towers Hill. After the mine closed and World War II started, what you'll find when you come up here is a whole stack of bunkers from World War II. Most of them were used to store ammunition and things like that for the RAAF in Townsville. But there is plenty of uh, relics and remnants of that time still around, which is fantastic. You can get into most of them. Some of them are blocked off. But here's one, for example, that you can get into. This was most likely an ammunition store, this one. Let's go have a look. So you can see here, guys, the windows aren't really windows. They're boarded up with steel. <clears throat> they can be open though. Original light switch, door frame, etc. Steel doors, and solid concrete inside. Now, these do have a little audio visual presentation in them when you come in here. As you can see, it's just fired up, it obviously triggers on a sensor. Original light fittings. I won't show you the video, obviously, because you'll have to come out and check it out for yourself. But they're pretty cool. Another smaller bunker here. Just with some, just with some audio visual displays in it. Not too bad, I was going to say. It's well looked after. Little hornet in the light. But as you can see, guys, there's bunkers all through the hills here. All different sizes and shapes. All buried well into the mountainside. See a couple over there still remain. Great to see it all still here and not just demolished and destroyed and open to the public too, which is great. Now you may be wondering why Rob's walking towards a concrete block, filming it and putting it up as part of his trip. That's because this concrete block is one of only six in the country. Now I have no idea how it works, or how they get a reading out of it, or anything like that. I presume it's below somehow. But what it does, is it reads any changes in the Earth's magnetic field. 
So, like I said, there's only one of six of the country, and this is, this is one of six, sorry. But if uh, anyone could tell me how it works, I'd be uh, very interested to know. Yeah, one of only six. Very cool. Alrighty, guys, where we are now is the Clark Gold Mine site. Sort of thought to have been one of the last open gold mines, open shaft gold mines. Old Clarky, he used to run the town pub. Saw everyone was getting this gold. Thought, hey, I'll go have a crack at this. So he uh, came up to the top of the hill, pitched his spot, and obviously made some sort of buildings and sorting areas and probably some living quarters. Started to dig. Now I don't know how much he actually got, but he ended up closing it down and then he bought the baker shop. I think he bought another pub and another store, I think, from memory. I could be wrong, but something like that. So I reckon, I reckon he probably did all right. But obviously World War II came through since then, so whatever was here would have been taken away and this is all that's left. Still, pretty cool. You look at the conditions up here and it would have been a tough gig. Whilst you're walking around Towers Hill, you'll see these all over the place. But these are a breather holes for the mine below. So you can see old Clarkie's settlement and setup was over there. Obviously the mine came through here somewhere, the shaft. But it's impossible to know, and, and they still don't know to this day, where most of the shafts actually go. So, if you see one of them, you know you're probably standing on top of one. Have a look guys at the effort that this spider has gone to in his nest. Goodness me. Now, I'm not a huge spider professional. Now I don't know a lot about spiders, but I'm pretty sure any spider I know of that does that kind of nest is a redback. But I don't know, that seems pretty elaborate for a redback. Anyone out there know what kind of spider made that? Whatever it is, goodness me, it's impressive. Wow. There is stacks of history in this town, guys, and I'm definitely going to come back, spend a few days here, have a good look around, because you can't do this in 24 hours. There is so much, so much here. It might be a little town, but so much history, guys, and so many things to check out. Gold mines and World War II bunkers and... Oh, goodness me, they've got a bit of everything here. You can be rest assured, guys, that I will be back to Charters Towers. There is so much to see here. But anyway, we move eastward. Doesn't this place look pretty? Airly Beach. Here we come. <laughs>